What you will need is alcohol, any brand will do, lint-free wipes or a paper towel, a white buffing block, 180 grit file or any file higher than 180, a nail brush to dust off. You also need resin or nail glue as long as it's brush on and you will need the nail wrap. I have fiberglass nail wrap. There are three types of wraps. First one is silk. It's a natural transparent look. It's not too strong but it will still do. Um, there's fiberglass which is a bit transparent but the strength of the linen which is the strongest one so it will work great. And there's also linen nail wrap, the strongest wrap, but opaque in color, so you need to use polish to cover it. So I made sure I pushed back the cuticle, I buffed it, and I slowed it down so you can see the crack, how it lifted up, and it, it's almost going to come off. So I brushed on the nail glue, very thin the first layer. You're trying to, I'm trying to make sure it's in place so I don't glue it wrong. So I brushed on a very thin layer right on top of it and I already cut the size of the wrap to fit the nail and I lay it right on top. I'm using tweezers for this. You have to try not to touch it with your fingers simply because the natural oils from your fingers could make it stand out and not stay in place and it wouldn't adhere to it. So I'm also going to cut off any extra on the side. So it's okay if you cut it out to be bigger than the actual nail. You can always file it off or just nip it off just like I'm doing. So I will brush on a very thin layer of glue on top of that once it dries. Very thinly. You also don't want a big bulk of glue in your nail. As soon as that's done, I make sure that it's drying. As you can tell, I'm <laughs> trying to dry it. So once that's dry, I want to do one more layer of glue. Think about it like a top coat. So this will be the top coat to finalize it. Very thin, like I said. Will be brushed on right on top, just where the crack is. You don't need to do the entire nail. You can tell it's already kind of transparent. It's not so noticeable. But if I did use the linen, it would be way stronger. But you would always have to wear nail polish to be able to cover it. So now I'm spraying the activator. This will just help the resin, the glue, dry faster and be a little bit stronger. It's not necessary, but I just like to use it. So I will file with the 180 grit file just to take off any extra nail wrap that did not adhere to the nail so it doesn't stick out. So when I do polish the nail, it's not bumpy or has any lumps or anything like that. And I am filing and lifting up the file on the natural nail. You never want to file back and forth without lifting the file because you will take off layers of the natural nail. Push down the sidewalls to get in the corners to make sure and it is a natural nail so you don't want to over file and file back and forth and you, on a rocking motion. I'm taking the excess off. I'm buffing it now. This does not do any damage to the nail. This just gets it ready to polish. It smooths it. And it gets it fresh and ready. Now I'm lifting up the nail as you can see. Just to give you an idea of how strong the fiberglass wrap is. I'm wiping it with some alcohol. And she's going to be ready to polish. Or do a no chip on top. Or an acrylic set. Or anything she's ready for. In two weeks just apply more glue. And in four weeks you could apply another layer of nail wrap. And she should be set.